All right, guys, I'm here in Kentucky on my way to meet a stacker who's also a YouTuber, but his YouTube's not about gold and silver. Let's get into it. Who do you think it is? One stacker on a journey to find silver. International stacker. Okay guys, I'm at the meetup spot, and it is the historic spot where Colonel Sanders himself started. That's right, KFC, as we know it today. This is the original place where it started, and it's actually a restaurant. So I'm going to go in there, meet this mystery YouTuber, and uh, hopefully eat some great food and maybe grab, grab a beverage. All right, let's go in. Who is this mystery stacker? All right, guys, we're over here at Claudia Sanders' dinner house. What secret YouTuber are we going to meet up with? I don't know. Stay tuned. I see somebody very famous in front hey, of me. Hey. How's it going? Beard of How's Pop. Going, What's man? up, man? Oh, going great. Going great. International going stacker here, here, guys. Yeah, International right. stacker. Hey, guys. How are you doing, bro? Hey, going pretty good. How are you doing? Great. I mean, who would have thought we'd meet in Kentucky? That's you know insane, what I'm saying? Dude. So where, where are we right now? What is this place? We are at Claudia Sanders' dinner house. In, okay. Uh, I believe it's Simpsonville, Kentucky. Okay. And all my viewers watching this, notice he has a camera in his hand. So I expect you to go to his channel and smash the like button and leave a comment on this video. Yeah, guys, do the same. All right, well, should we get in there and feast or what? Let's go feast. You know, I did see a cat in the parking lot, and uh, I did grow up in San Diego near <laughs> Tijuana. You don't think that's going to end up on the menu, do you? No, I doubt it. All right, let's get in. Here. Let's L go. Let's go. B.O.P., what do we got here, man? We got some fried chicken. Is this, the, ori potatoes. Is this the original? Yeah, this is the original. He's taking a video, folks. Look, taking a video. Hey, I asked, what do you have over yeah. there? I've got like original Colonel Sanders chicken, and I heard there might be gold flakes. Maybe gold flakes. There might be gold flakes. I don't know. And I've got some chicken, mashed potatoes, and some uh, green beans. Looks All right. Unsweet tea and some delicious rolls. Let's do it. We're going to go eat. All right, dude. So let's go hang out in the car and. Share some secrets? Or? Sure, let's go. Gold and silver and pop. Bro, Mrs. IS, where's she at? <laughs> you think she's here? You think she's Kentucky and dude, Mrs. IS? Maybe she's, maybe she's from Kentucky, dude. All right, so uh, I'm back here with Beard of Pop, AKA BOP. We're here in the car to do, what are we doing, a trade? Are we doing a show and tell? We're, We're gonna, gonna do more of a show and tell, you know? Oh, so you don't want to trade. I don't know. We'll I want that got. gold and silver. We'll okay, all right, we'll, 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 do, we'll, do, we'll do show and tell. All right, all right so what'd you bring? Now, right. now, first off, for everyone who doesn't know, Beard of Pop, he's actually a celebrity on YouTube. He has a very popular uh, YouTube and predominantly about collecting. Uh, and trading and stuff, Funko Pops, but he also does pop culture, sports, wrestling, all kinds of stuff. So go sub him up and check him out. But, ladies and gentlemen, he's one of us. Show me what you got. Well, if you guys remember from the collab we did a little bit ago. Links in the description. Links in the description. You got me the first gold and so well, the first silver haul begin my silver stacking and this was one of my favorite pieces right here what do you got there? Right there oh that is a shiny bu benji look at that thing and some of you guys may have never seen it if you watched uh is's video and never came over to my video and Flip watched that, yeah because you were the uh dude that thing is so shiny uh, it's so shiny it's dude, so shiny that is epic. it is it is very very nice all right what and, else you got there and that was one of my favorite and then um I got some uh, pretty cool uh, MK bars. Uh, do you, I love MK bars. Yeah. He's one of my favorite for poured silver. And I actually have a video inside his mitt pouring. I have seen my that first video. silver that bar with awesome yeah. video. And I picked up the uh, the Wonka bar right here. Oh, that is cool. And then it's two ounces gold of uh, silver. Let's see the Wonka side of it. There you go, right there, dude. That is, let me see that thing. You know what the cool thing about Port Silver? You can touch it with your hands and not worry about right. it. You know what I mean? Yep. I love that. 
I love it. I, I did a nice little thing with my Freddy, uh, Freddy Funko with Zoompa Loompa. Yeah. I did a nice little photo with it. And nice. I like it a lot. And I brought this little MK Bars bars right here. Oh, dude, I love these little pirate squares. I have I have all kinds of those pirate squares. Yeah, I've got a few, but I brought this one. Cause Bro, this that's pretty sick. That's sick. You did such a great job with that. That's a one ounce? Yes. Okay. What else you got? I got, well, of course I brought Lady Liberty. One of the ones that was oh right yeah there that you hooked me up with because a lot of my silver i have now is just some bars and stuff it's nothing really exciting yeah i Except mean for some of the stuff a lot of people it. think bars are exciting but you guys american silver eagles i sold a box of 500 of these like right when covid started because i lost a contract in yeah. the middle east yeah. i was down like 18 grand i had to start another contract and people know my contracts you know i have to prepay things cover things i get my money in the back and so i got screwed on the saudi one so I had to sell, I sold a box just to have enough money to get on my next contract. Yeah. So dude, when I sold it, I mean, I made money on it. But then if you remember halfway through COVID, they skyrocketed. <laughs> They're like $38. Uh, like, exactly. I was like, no. Nah. The same with Funko Pops. Dude, I was like, no. Nah. Same with Funko Pops. Right. And then this one, which isn't anything like actual, right? But it's the, uh, the Eagle. I actually, this one um, has gotten worse since you gave it to me because it has the Pledge of Allegiance on the back. And I really, really, that's my favorite coin, and I actually carry that coin with me. Oh, wow. So I really do like that coin. So that's a pocket piece, then? Yeah, it's a pocket piece. I really, I don't, you know, I know it's worth a little bit, but it's uh, something I really like, and I really believe in the Pledge of Allegiance. So, yeah. Uh, you know, it's just, you know, something they don't even make kids do at school anymore. Isn't that disgusting? It's horrible, I think. It's and you know, if this disgusting. is a pocket piece, just freaking take it out of the plastic, yep. dude. Mm -hmm. Let it rub on those denim jeans. No, usually I keep it out of the plastic, but okay. I do put it in here sometimes, too. Okay. And then, of course, I got the best which is the gold that's in this pocket right here golden i'm gonna start out with the golden beard of pop sticker for you oh man. that's for me that's for you dude that is epic thanks man and we also got we also got even something better we got the gold beard of pop limited edition pin dude you got your own pin got my own pin uh that's that actually is number one shut up right there Oh my gosh! I I'm in, it. I'm immediately <laughs> selling this on eBay. No, I'm, I'm joking. I'm joking. He okay. calls me a celebrity all the time. So I had to sign it. Oh, him. that is epic. <laughs> well, I feel like a jerk because uh, I could basically claim straight from my work to meet with you. I don't have anything for you yet, but I have a special challenge coin that's coming out, and the only way to get it is to meet me in the wild. All right. So you're going to get one, and it looks like I have to give you number one. Yes, so, you do. There you um, go. Now, I brought something to show you. Yeah. So this is kind of up my lane, and you are a stacker, so you're lane, but I brought something to show you yeah. that you might recognize. And the first thing I want to show you is something golden. Oh. And I want you to oh. check it out and tell All me right. what you think. I know you know about this, but oh. check that out. <laughs> Funko Fun Days. That is Funko Fun Days uh, 2019. Dude, it's hard for me to even know what year things were anymore. 2019. Yeah, from the I beer flu. I'm so jacked up <laughs> on know, timeline. It's it like, what year was that? This one was 2019. Look at that. The Golden Idol Freddy. So, that is sick. if I have any viewers that are into this type of stuff, please let me know in the comments below. But this is special limited edition. You had to get it at Funko Fun Days. It says SE here. Special edition. And that was the uh, Golden Freddy Idol. That everyone at the um, Funko Fun Days won. Yeah, they even in Boston and gold right there, which is something completely different. All of it's in Boston. How many of those you got? You got a couple of those, don't you? Yeah, I got, I got two of them. Okay, cool. I got two of them. I got one more thing to show you. Sick. Be careful. Please don't dent the corners. Please, I please, won't, please, I won't please, dent please. the corners. I won't dent the corners. All right. I'll try to open it. Let's put this over put here. It over there. Keep it safe. All right. I brought one more thing, and I want you to tell me if you know what this is. Oh, uh, let's see. Oh, it's silver. <laughs> it had to be oh, silver. Oh, look at that. What That's do we got there? Paka Paka Munchies Dragon, the silver one. Well, I'm zooming in. That one's pretty sick. I do appreciate that one. Me and Carrie do uh, do collect these and uh, make sure to have all of them, even if we don't like the set. So let me tell you, ask you something. What made you decide to um, get into gold and silver? Was it from watching my channel? Was it like you'd been thinking about it and the videos push you over the edge? Was it like YOLO, I want to do it, and then I offered it? Like, what made you decide to, like, get into gold and silver? 
Well, I always collected coins. Okay. Uh, a lot of pennies. And you had those MK bars before I knew I you, I had right? the MK bars before I knew you, and okay. I always had a little bit of stuff, and I always collected coins. Not necessarily for the monetary value, but my dad and my grandpa always collected coins. Okay. So, you know, we did penny books, and we did the, I love the U.S. quarters when they came out. Oh, sure. And then, um, yeah, watching you when you used to travel all around. Before I even did YouTube, I watched you. That's epic, And dude. I watched you in all those different countries, in the back alleys, doing those silver Deals, dude, those were like so that. those were sketchy, and then, bro. And then honestly, we had chit chatted a few times, and um, uh, we talked. And then uh, I had asked him about, you know, maybe I could uh, get my first first stat going. You know, and you help me out again. That video link is in the description Which below. Channel? I literally recorded, and I bought them for you in Maryland. Yeah. And now we're in Kentucky, guys. In Kentucky. I literally uh, filmed the whole thing buying them for him in uh, Maryland. It was pretty cool. You got some great stuff. And I think you got some junk silver along with that too, right? Yeah, I did get some junk coins, some junk uh, quarters yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. And for those who don't know, junk silver is also called 90%. Also called constitutional. Probably my favorite name for it. Yeah, constitutional right? would be my favorite name for it as well. All right, you got any questions for me? What made you get into gold and silver? Um, so I was contracted in the Middle East and I'd gotten into cryptos. So I started mining Bitcoin, man. I was in when it was 400. Man, if only I had a bankroll and I bought like a thousand Bitcoin. <laughs> ah! um, but I got into it and I was telling one of the other American contractors there, I'm like, yeah, dude, I'm getting into this thing, Bitcoin. It's crazy, blah, blah, blah. So I taught him about it and he got into it and he actually did way better than I did on crypto, by the way. He made a ton of money. But he said to me, yeah, I'm a stacker. I'm like, stacker? What is that? He's like, I buy gold and silver. I'm like, huh? So he told me to go to ProvidentMetals.com, which used to be my favorite uh, like on uh, online bullion dealer before JM Bullion bought them out because they used to have the best deals and they had poured silver and everything. Um, so I go on there, I see like 249 over spot, 99 over. I was so confused. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I what the, the heck is going on? <laughs> so eventually, like, I figured it out and then I did a lot of research. I went down the rabbit hole with uh, Mike Maloney's Hidden Secrets of Money. Yeah. I don't know if you've seen that, but no, I haven't. Dude, check it out. And that's the best way to convert people into stackers. So I went down that rabbit hole and I realized, man, you know, crypto is like on a computer, depends on power, depends on things. The government can outlaw it tomorrow and people go, yeah, but you always have your keys. But yeah, if the government says it's a felony, unless you turn this in, you know, that's sketchy. Yeah, no, that is and look true. what they just did in Canada. They locked down those crypto wallets. Yeah. for So it's sketchy. The thing I like about gold and silver is it's in your hand. It's tangible. You it can is, bury it in physical. the backyard. You mm -hmm. can do whatever you need to with it. Like, if you have 100-ounce bars, you could spray paint it black and use it to prop your door open. People would never know. know. yeah. So that's kind of a long-winded of uh, how I got into it. And it kind of opened my eyes to the truly tangible versus not. Because, yeah, crypto, I could print out the key. It's on a paper. Technically, that's tangible. You know, but for something to be money, it has to be certain things. For something to be money, it has to have a store, of, uh, uh, store, store of value. It has to be a unit that's divisible, and you can break it down has to be worth relatively the same around the world, uh, which is, you know, it has to be fungible um, and it has to be stable, right? Mm -hmm. It can't just drop price. Um, so that's something, those characteristics, there's a few more gold and silver have. Crypto has many of those, but not all of those. Mm -hmm. Now, I do think crypto is going to continue to revolutionize. I think there's a lot of opportunity in crypto, but I look at this stuff as like 100%. Yeah. I agree. You're safe. Mm -hmm. Cryptos, do I still mess around with them? You know I bought some Dogecoin. Yeah, you, you, know, you, know, you, know, you know I've got some shit. With that <laughs> but my point is, this to me is a sure thing, whereas cryptos are more of a gamble. Now, some of the gambles are less than others, but I trust and believe in gold and silver a lot more than yeah. I do cryptos. I don't know if you're in the same boat. I'm in the same boat. I'm in the same boat. I trust, I trust gold and silver, and that's why I started silver sacking. Plus, it's fun. Plus, I like collecting coins, so I like the coins themselves as well. Dude, I feel like it might be time for me to build a new box for you one of these days. Hey, right? hey, you know hey, hey. So, hey, I don't know. We can stay tuned. So, tell me this. Where can people find you? People can find me over on YouTube on Beard of Pop. I'm also on uh, Instagram as Beard of Pop. And um, come check me out and see if you like any of the uh, collectibles I do or wrestling boxes. I do a lot of different kinds of videos now, so... Some may be for you, some may not, but uh, it's definitely a lot of fun. And you have done a video or two talking about your, your silver. Yeah. I remember, yeah? Yeah. And let me say, my friend, that is an epic beard you got going on well, there. Thank uh, you very uh, much. Thank you very much. It's my uh, beer flu beard. 
Do your beer full of beer. And I'm like, I've got one too, guys. You can't see. I've got a beer too. <laughs> yeah. Well, man, it's been freaking amazing. Epic. You guys go check him out. Sub him up. Show him some love. Look in the, the link. There's a link to his channel below, but there's also a link to that original video below. Yep. And I think it'll be cool for people to see how you got that stuff. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, definitely. Uh, definitely be a lot thanks of fun. for meeting, bro. Thanks, man. Had a blast. And I guess we'll say, catch you on the next one. Woo! Now, if anyone's interested in the number one pin from Beer to Pop, let me know. The <laughs> bidding starts at $99.99. Let's go. One stacker on a journey to find silver.